Hello everybody! Alright, it's that time of the year where I show you guys, present to you guys my current favorites, current favoritos. So I'm super excited to do this. I filmed my last favorites video December past. Good thing is marami akong na-discover na good finds like makeup and skincare and like one fashion item that I really want to share with you guys. And and dami ding mga makeup releases lately ah. I almost can't keep up at the same time I love it. So I'm gonna be linking all of the products I'm gonna mention in today's video. They're all available to Lazada. So now let's get into my current favorites. Still in my current favorites is my tofu. Like actually I'm using the upgraded version right now. Which I'm gonna try to take a video because I want you guys to see. As I'm recording right now, I'm actually using the upgraded version. This is the original Tofu Light, and this is my upgraded version. Either of these are amazing. This is my original one, used and abused, and in fairness, it still looks good as new. So, it's ganda investment talaga nito, guys, kasi you can change the modes. Marami siyang mga modes. And the gamit ko one is the upgraded variant. I think it's like 1,000 pesos more than my OG Tofu Light. Alam niyo kung beginner lang naman kayo and you just take content for fun, okay na talaga tong square na Tofu Light. My first one kasi, ayan no, like, ganyan siya kabongga. Sobrang bongga nito. Every time I'm shooting content, kailangan andito to. Every time I'm shooting pictures, anything that involves, like, creating content, like, pictures, videos, and even like making my TikToks, I use this. And also, hindi rin siya mabilis malobat. So this one, isang light lang siya. But look, if I add this smaller one, look how powerful and mighty this tiny tofu light is. I tried all the other lights, the beauty one. This is still the best. Like, this is still the best. Plus, it has so many modes. Itong clip niya, I had to buy it separately. Pero I'm gonna link it here. Next favorite is like a fashion lifestyle favorite. This is the newest from Easy Peasy. It is the Wonderlift. So I kept the box just so I can show you guys. This is such a game changer. I'm gonna include before and after pictures. Also a before and after video of how this changes everything. This is an instant boob enhancer. But what's amazing with this is yung effect niya kasi natural looking. It's not too much. Iba kasi, napapansin ko na sobrang fake na tignan no end result. So, na-enhance yung boobs. Pero parang it doesn't help with the lifting so much. This one not only enhances the boobs, it also lifts them as well. It's not as thick as you think, but it adds that volume. So, dikit mo siyang ganyan. And then the other side kind of goes here. So, it really gives that extra push. It's waterproof. It is double-sided sticky. So, yung isang side, ididikit mo sa damit mo. And then, the other side, you stick it to your boob area. So, it's super sticky, guys. Like, sticky, it's not gonna move. May mga nagtatanong, if you sweat, okay pa rin ba? Yes, of course. Okay pa rin siya. Meron pa rin siyang dinidikitan na isang side, which is your clothing. Naka nag-work sa akin for tight-fitting tops and dresses like this. It really secures the boobies and promise you, perfect for night outs. Nung pumayag kasi ako, nawala din yung volume ko sa boobs. And this one is honestly just my game changer best friend. Hindi siya nakukulog, hindi siya gumagalaw. Like, secure talaga siya. So, moving on to my beauty faves. I really want to touch base that I am now officially a cleansing oil convert. Now, guys, 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 guys. If you know me, hindi talaga ako nagka-cleansing oil. Like, never once in my life have mentioned that I have fallen in love with a cleansing oil. The closest would be a cleansing balm, but never a cleansing oil. But, guys... I'm now a cleansing oil convert. I've been especially loving this one from DHC. It's called the Deep Cleansing Oil. I bought it in Japan without any expectations. But I saw it online that like everybody's using cleansing oil. As a micellar water girly, I didn't ever... I was just never curious about it until I tried it and I was proven wrong. Well, this is probably the best way to remove your makeup. Now, I would say that it's not the best at removing Heroin make mascara. Means that di niya kinakaya, so I have to like really let it sit. But holy crap, this is gonna save your skin. Now, if your skin is sensitive, most especially, di yun ay realize ganon ka stripping yung mga micellar water, yung mga ibang makeup removers sa sanay tayo. An oil based cleanser pala is the way to go. Alam niyo feeling na ang hydrated lang ng skin after. Tapos tanggal naman din yung makeup and it just feels so comfortable. Never nag dry out yung skin ko ever since I used a cleansing oil. Overall, a pleasant experience using. Cleansing oil, and this one comes with a pump, so I'm gonna link this one specifically from DHC. Tipid siya gamitin na. I usually do like two full pumps. I've been using this for at least three months, and I do use makeup on the regular basis. So antipid pa rin yaka. Yung skin ko kasi guys, it's fluctuating all the time. Sometimes it's like normal. Other times it's acne prone, and then sometimes, majority of the times, it's dry. Hindi ko na masabing oily skin ako kasi I really only like oil up like on my nasal label area and on my nose but not as bad as it was like years ago and lately napapansin ko 
pag nag makeup ako, ang dry ng finish niya. Like, it's never, it's never smooth looking. Like, it's so patchy underneath my eyes. Like, may cracks. Like, weird things under my eyes. And I realized ko, my skin is just too dry. Like, am I aging? Like, what is happening? So, it's like, whatever is happening is happening to me right here, right now. I tried a toner. Actually, toners are so amazing in general. But this one, I've been enjoying. It's from Cosrx, the Propolis Synergy Toner. It's mild. It's hydrating. It does what a toner is supposed to do. It's affordable. 150 ml, I think I got it for like less than 500 pesos. And guys, I really like the consistency because it's not too slimy feeling. Para pa rin siyang water. And then, okay siya i apply talaga sa skin because it absorbs really well. Hindi rin siya sticky. The main ingredient of this is propolis extract and honey extract. Wala naman siya masyadong fragrance or anything, but ang ganda lang niya talaga sa skin. Hydrating talaga. And every time I add in a toner, as a step in my skin prep routine, mas maganda yung lapat ng makeup ko. Mas maganda yung meron kang toner, and then sunscreen, and then your serum, and then magma-makeup ka. It really has changed the game for me. My makeup base looks much smoother now. Don't worry, it's not gonna make for an oily base. Hindi ganon. It's just gonna add a hydrated base. Hindi siya oily or slimy or all of that weird stuff. Okay, I'm officially a convert also of the Dear Face Beauty Milk. Now, I have to be honest, nalalagpasan ko lang to before. I started getting recognition sa TikTok a couple of years ago and nilalagpasan ko lang siya. Parang hindi ako interested. Kasi that time, hindi pa ako nakakatry ng collagen drinks. Ha? But this is the Dear Face Beauty Milk Premium Japanese Banana Probiotic and Collagen Drink. Now, I have finished maybe three to four bags. I think um, this is my fourth bag now. Um, this is the Beauty Milk Banana. This is my favorite variant. I've tried the Chocomallows variant. That's really good too, but the banana milk is just on another level. My favorite way of drinking this is with milk. May fiber din to, and it's actually made with stevia. So, pasok siya sa healthy lifestyle. And also, hindi lang siya yung basta-basta collagen. Before, sinabihan ako ni Doc Casey of Luminous, Hi, Doc! Um, she actually recommended me when I still was dealing with acne and like really like a bad breakout that probiotic is actually good for the skin and good for the gut. So ever since I started incorporating this into my daily routine, like I drink this every day, once a day, anytime. Wala kong, wala kong specific time of taking this naman. I just take it whenever I'm like craving something sweet. Going back to the probiotic, it's actually really good for the gut, which is in turn going to be great for the skin. A healthy inside is going to reflect on the outside. And guys, ito lang ha. Mas pumino yung balat ko. Mas pumino yung balat ko. Like, alam niyo yung before, makikita niyo talaga kapag yung balat, yung base, yung canvas, porous siya or super laki ng pores or maraming comedones. Yung parang magaspang. Pumino yung balat ko mga sis. Like, hindi ako, I'm not exaggerating whatsoever. Even if I zoom you and I can. It's not perfect. I have like spots here, but before, like for example, my forehead before filled with milia, there was a time I was breaking out because I was eating so much like sweets and sugar. Now the skin is just pino and so nice. Even my body, especially my body. Kasi ako yung kapag umitim, it's really gonna take time and you will notice talaga na maputi yung mukha and then yung katawan ko umiitim. Kapag nasa sunburn ako, it takes months for me to even out. I try to drink this at least once a day. Siyempre, may mga days na nakakalimutan ko talaga. But at least once a day, Girl, mas mabilis na mag-even out yung skin tone ko. So, hindi ako nag-gluta or anything. This is my natural color. But I think it's a collagen, the probiotic, that's actually like helping even out my skin on my body to my face. Blooming lang ng feeling ko overall, face and body. I think I owe it to the Dear Face Beauty Milk. Ako guys, if niyo ba na to try, I suggest mag-trial muna kayo. And I think, I think you're gonna love it. The banana milk one. Ito, sobrang sarap pa niya. Para ka umiinom ng milk tea, parang ganun. Sometimes, kailangan ko pigilan sa ko na, okay, two sachets lang for the day, medyo na-addict ka na sis. Hindi rin talaga ako believer ng mga gandong collagen drinks. I see it eh. I see something eh. For me personally, effective siya. Is this the year of bases or what? Because I feel like every brand is releasing like a base product. Concealers, foundations, the like, you name it brands are releasing base products but I'm not complaining. I'm not really complaining. Now, I'm not usually a foundation girl but I gotta say the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation is super nice. It's very thin. Like my other foundations that usually lean towards a creamy medium to full coverage side, this one is a thin lightweight medium coverage foundation. By the way guys, my shade is 1C1 Vanilla um, but I think that is the strength of this foundation. That it's spreadable like spreadable AF. It's thin AF. It's so thin. It's mighty thin. This is my personal favorite brush to apply it with because it spreads the foundation evenly. 
and it coats the face evenly with one thin layer, giving you a glow and making your skin look juicy, hydrated, but not skimping on the coverage. Surprisingly, hindi to light coverage. For me, medyo medium coverage siya. So actually, the hype is real. Glamzilla was right. This formula is beautiful, lightweight, super lightweight, almost undetectable on the skin. This is not the most long-lasting foundation. By the end of the day, medyo nag fade na siya. But honestly, I don't care because the way it makes my skin look is unreal in the shade match though. I don't know kung ano meron dito ah. Sa totoo lang, medyo pikit mata ko siyang binili kasi mahal siya. Like 3,000 plus siya. Pero shocks girl. Shocks girl. Uh, maganda siya sis. As in maganda siya yung formula niya unique. It's not a formula that you can easily find in your other foundations. It feels like a serum when you're applying it on your face. Foundations worth the hype. What can I say? It's great stuff. I do have to give a shout out to Skintific. Ito yung cover all perfect ko nila. This is great. If you're looking for a full coverage, maganda yung adhesion to skin, like grips onto the skin really well, Skintific has a beautiful cushion. Now, I have used this so many times. Use it on my trips, Japan, Korea. It held up really well So cold weather. So Philippines, it also is holding up so well. This is the base I'm wearing right now. Mine is used up almost. Konti na lang na dito na This one also has SPF of 35 PA++++. Super full coverage. To the point na hindi mo na kailangan ng concealer because it can cover up literally anything. If you have like acne marks, dark spots. I actually have like a dark spot right here. I'm not sure if you can see. This guy covered it right up. Zero bakas. Mukha kong flawless ang skin. Also, yung undertones nila maganda kasi yellow and hindi ashy, hindi gray. So perfect for Filipina skin tones. Um, I would say it does oxidize a little bit. My shade is 01 Vanilla, the lightest shade. But hindi siya as like white and brightening as I would like it. But still, I would say it's a perfect match for me. And also, it's very long-lasting. Kasi magandang adherence niya sa skin. Yun yung napansin ko some cushions kind of slip and slide. This one adheres onto the skin. It almost sets. So, super long lasting. Yung hindi siya basta basta mabubura. Parang su notch ata ni King Ziza back of his hand. This parang nahirapan siya burahin nun. I'm also gonna like this flat brush. Um, this just really applies foundation evenly, in an even manner. Ganda. Sweep mo lang siya. Now, I still need like a brush to blend it out so that it's like streakless. But I really like this for initial application of my foundation. I have been impressed by Tevian brushes. They have the concealer brush and the detailed face brush. Now, the detailed face brush I love to use for my highlight. This one blends out my highlight so beautifully. It's soft on the skin. But the bristles, you can tell, are high quality. I know that because I've tried, again, a lot of makeup brushes. This is how it looks like. Again, almost intensifies it as it glides on your face. Another use for this that I like, setting underneath the eyes. The concealer brush from Tevian also maganda. I've heard that this is supposed to mimic your fingers when blending out your concealer. And the shape niya, kakaiba. Yeah. And it's also angled like this so it fits the crevices of your under eye. I also use it to blend out concealer here, even here. And just such a great experience using this. Again, very high quality in brushes ng Tevian. They're not cheaply made and they actually perform really well on the face. So, I like that. Concealer tayo because, again, so many concealer releases lately. And in fair, maganda both. So, di ako makapili ng isa. First, the Lovely Cosmetics Beyond Blur... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Beyond Blur High Coverage Concealer. My, my shade is 1FN. This is my perfect all-around shade. Now, gusto gusto ko yun. Like, ako yung tao na kapag perfect shade match ako, I plus 1 yan. Kasi mahirap, mahirap talaga makashade match eh. Minsan, it's too yellow. I do have like a neutral coal undertone. So, anything, anything that's too yellow on my face looks off na. This one, it's neutral undertone. It's a perfect undertone to where I can use it underneath my eyes. I can use it as a spot concealer. This is the lightest shade na, so I hope they can release like lighter shades for brightening. This one, true to its claim, is blurring, smoothing, full coverage. So, pang malakas ang concealer din to. Pang malakas ang concealer din to. To be honest, medyo same sila ng, ng qualities. I would say formula. They're not the same formula, but they have the same qualities na pang malakasan, hindi kay iwan all day coverage, full coverage, but hindi din mabigat sa mukha, ganun. So I really have been loving full coverage products like these that have that quality that adhere really well on the skin. Mafe-feel mo kasi talagang didikit siya sa balat mo. Hindi siya yung watered down na parang magbibitak-bitak by the end of the day, no? 
This one will stay all day, super long lasting. Ito yung concealer na mukha ka naka foundation kapag suot mo siya. Ganon. One thing that's newer to my collection, I think this is the only concealer na nan-try ko sa gym na by the end of the day, my makeup looks the same. Because with some of the other concealers, yes, they are long lasting in the sense that after you work out and dyan pa rin siya, meron talaga hindi maiiwasan na nagbibitak-bitak. It's inevitable, especially if you sweat a lot. But this concealer, first time. Kung maka-experience ng concealer na by the end of my workout, it was still completely there. My under eyes were still smooth, intact. Concealer did not separate on my skin after a sweaty gym session. So I just have to give it a shout out. Vice Co. Vice Cosmetics Endless Cover Up Skin Sealer. Light 1 is my shade. A bit more on the yellow side actually compared to the Lovely Cosmetics. Pero both naman nag work for my skin tone. Mas swak lang talaga sa kanto si Lovely. Pero maganda rin naman tong si Vice Cosmetics. Between the two, I honestly love them but for different reasons. If I want something na talagang for on the go pang malakasan, literally mo na kailangan foundation, ito na yun. If you want something that's gonna last you the whole day, has a bit less coverage than the Lovely Cosmetics, is not as creamy because this one sets. If you have super dry skin, not sure how this is gonna work for you. Because this concealer from Vice, once it sets, it's not gonna move. Like, waterproof nga naman talaga siya. As opposed to si Lovely, you have the time to blend it out. With that said, this is more long-lasting and sweat and gym approved by me. If you sweat a lot, this concealer might be a good option because I tried it for gym and I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, but at the end of the day, my makeup was still intact. Jokes Beauty Face Sculpt in Peanut. This is really good. Also, upgraded packaging sila. So if you're looking for a cream contour, this looks like straight up like the Westman Atelier packaging, which is just so luxurious. And this is in the shade Peanut. So the perfect contour shade really. It's creamy. It's very blendable, easy to blend, but at the same time, it's long-lasting as well. Hindi siya yung contour na bigla na lang mawawala sa mukha mo. I actually have it right now, and I'm pretty sure you can see where I contoured my face. Peanut is my perfect shade, and I just really like this contour. Now that the packaging is upgraded, hindi na maaano ano yung packaging niya, malalagyan ng unnecessary product. That has made this a ton of times better. Curly. Girly, if you have fair skin, listen up. I have another blush favorite for you. Now, I probably sound like a broken record talking about my favorite Sassy Colors blush. I've talked about them since 2018, probably. And now, 2024, na sis, ito na lang, sabi ko sa ito na lang ang blush na hindi pa nagtataas ng presyo, but the quality has remained the same. Um, it is a powdery blush, as you can see me powder kickback jan, but on the cheeks, it's a completely different story. They came out with three new colors. My favorite shade now is Honey Peach because... Should I? But I'm already like blush. Guys, the moment you... The moment this hits your cheeks, I'm not kidding. You're gonna look like you have blush. You're gonna look like you have highlighter. It's like a blush, lighter... Blush Highlighter Hybrid ka galore with this one. And with the shade Honey Peach, something about this is so flattering. I'm gonna swatch it. So, it's a powdery talaga siya, but give it a shot. Give it a shot. This is how it looks like. But the more you blend it out, the more it hits your cheeks. And the more may back and forth motion dyan. It turns into this magical glowy blush. Oh my gosh. Like, no words. You have to try this blush. There have been so many blush releases in the local scene. Personally, this is still one of my favorite like local blushes ever. There have been so many releases, but I still keep coming back to this magical baby. And their new shade, Honey Peach, is to die for. You guys have to try this, please. This one, I'm gonna try to find it on Lazada, but I had to mention this one. Girl, you Maybelline, a super stay 24 hour skin tint. This one is available in America. I got it through Opasibay kasi, but I'm gonna try to link it below if I find it for you. The way this evens out my skin tone and evens out my complexion is insane. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It feels like a serum. But at the same time, the coverage is amazing. It's pretty high coverage for a skin tint. The only thing I don't like, the dropper. It's not super hygienic, but the way this melts on the skin also, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful the way it evens out my skin and it lasts super long so I had to give it a shout out. If it, this is available in Lazada, I would rejoice. I'm gonna try to find like a link for you guys. I'm officially a convert of the Strokes Brow Fixer in Clear. I used to love the Lucky Beauty. I still do. I still do love the Lucky Beauty brow grip. But that one kasi this dispenses a little too much product. Like, masyado madami na hukuha dun sa wand. But the Strokes Brow Fixer, tamang-tama lang kasi may stopper siya. 
and the amount you get is just enough for your brows so you're never gonna get any crusty weird like residue none of that and then it holds the brows as my brows are still intact like they're not moving at all guys then the yung pagkakalaminate niya yung parang natural lang hindi yung sobrang tigas hindi yung sobrang crispy or crunchy looking nakagalaw pa lang yung brows like it's not uncomfortable on the brows also i've been loving this powder from get ready with me the powder rush in the shade pearl new packaging na sila guys so may mirror na siya and best part about this is it now comes with a puff like, you don't have to buy a separate puff na. Itong puff na to, maganda rin siya. As in, same quality din sa mga nabibili nyo pa. So, this is kind of like a two-in-one na. Genius idea that they included a puff instead of like a, a spongy thing. A puff is much more useful. So, I'm in the shade Pearl, which is my brightening shade. Now, this is not as user-friendly, personally, for me, ah, kasi it's very pigmented. Now, Pearl, you see, it's, it's super far from my skin tone I, I make it work i make pearl work because this is my brightening shade so i just tap it like this and then i tap off the excess you can see it is really a bit powdery and very pigmented so you tap and then you press the excess and then whatever is left you use it to brighten and you will see immediately ito medyo nag oil up na ng konti, but you will see the refresh your makeup ko na brighten niya talaga ang lala ng brightening effect nito guys Pang smooth ng skin kasi talagang girl para ka naka filter sa powder na to. I'm also gonna touch this up. You only need the tiniest bit because too much might make you look gawgawin. So ayo natin mag mukang cornstarch. Kusun natin fresh lang. So don't also forget to like blend it to the rest of your face. Those are the only areas I powder. I don't really powder like the rest of my face because ito lang naman yung areas na nag oil up. And the shade Pearl is my perfect like brightening color. I love it. So I'm gonna talk about my lip combo. Romad Lip Mate Pencil. These are great. I got the shade Kaya Beige. Really nice lip liner guys. What, what sets this apart is it's not too dark. And maganda siya na hindi siya ganun kanipis. So... It acts kind of like as a blurring lip liner. And then what I like to do, I just blend it out a little bit. So it gives me the contour that I'm looking for in a lip liner. But at the same time, it's not too dark. So very, ano lang siya, very fresh lang siya. This one I like because I can like easily blur it out and spread it out. Which is yung mga na uso naman sa Korean makeup looks. And then for lips, a majority of the time, I use the Bare and Bliss Apple makes adorable mousse tints. These are great. Long lasting din siya. So I got two favorite shades from the line. 01 Coral Wave, 02 Rose Haze. For today's demo, I'm gonna use 02 on like the inner part of my lips. Mm. Once these set, they're not really gonna budge. They leave a tint. So kahit na matanggal yung first layer dyan, they still will leave a tint that's not gonna budge. Like, I'm pressing it really hard and I'm rubbing really hard. The color is staying, so it's not going anywhere. Nagtatagal din yung lip stain niya. But yes, that is it for my current favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this really entertaining or helpful. And oh my gosh, kina kalimuta pa ako isang favorite. Dagdag mo na rin tong Sunny's face. Um, Juice Tint. I love the shades T Rose and Lychee. I'm so all over the place, guys. But this is T Rose. See? This one's like a dewy lip tint naman. The only gripe that I have with this is most, the majority of the shades. Out of the six colors I got, I think I only got to use two because the others are just so poppy. Like, sobrang pop of colors na. So, I hope they bring out more shades because the formula is really good. Moisturizing, hydrating siya. And then, once the juiciness goes away, the tint is still there. Add this to my roster of a really good lip tint. I haven't been able to stop using this. It's also a good retouch lip tease. So, ayon. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow for more updates. I'm also on TikTok, Instagram. You guys know the drill. And until then, I will see you on the next video. Bye! Arriba, arriba.